Someone living with dementia still needs to fill the day. Our problem, our difficulty as care partners is how do we help them do that? How do we figure out how to make the day meaningful? Not just for them, but also for us because we still are living our lives too. So it sort of helps to think about, well, what goes into a meaningful life? And what I'd tell you is there are four categories of activities. The first one is feeling productive, valued. Doing work. Now, it may be that you get paid for it, or maybe it's just people say thank you, but it gives you a sense that I make a difference, that who I am and how I am and what I can do still has value for people. And this is really critical for my sense of well-being and self. It's part of what makes us feel like human being that is cared about by somebody else and that I'm still here for a reason, and the reason matters. Now, the second type of activity that we all do is called leisure or fun, play. Things that you do because they're fun to do. You do them because they give you joy, because they make you feel good. You're not going to get anything out of them financially or maybe even feedback-wise. You like it because you like it. There's something about it that bumps your energy level, that gives you that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You find that doing it is pleasurable in and of itself. And to be honest, it comes in two major categories. Passive, it just sort of happens to you and you're absorbing it, so it's coming in. Or active, you're doing something that gets you to feel that way. And an example would be watching something versus actively choosing to engage in something. So I could watch a game of cards or I could play a game of cards. Two different ways to find joy. And who you are sort of may drive a little bit of which of those you like better. But you want some of each in your life. All of us have some of each. Now, the third category of activities, what do we do with our time, how do we fill our time, has to do with self-care, taking care of ourselves, taking care of our body, taking care of our brain, taking care of the place we live, taking care of business. So it means things like, for instance, getting around in the world, transportation. It includes things as simple as walking, getting in and out of chairs, and as complicated as figuring out a bus system or how to get on an airplane and then transfer. So self-care is big and it's little. It includes things like taking care of your own body, bathing, showering, or eating, toileting, grooming. But it also includes things like taking care of your body, exercise, and taking care of your brain, thinking doing things that are fun and interesting to your brain, so you stimulate your brain. And additionally, it includes taking care of the world around you, maybe cleaning up the house, emptying the garbage, taking things from here to there, moving things around in the world so that they're where they need to be when you need them, shopping, managing money. So self-care. The fourth one and the one we often don't think too much about is rest and restoration. Or if we think about it, recharging your batteries, what we think about is sleep. And sleep is certainly one way you can do that, but we need to realize that there are other ways you recharge your batteries and they're dependent highly on who you are and how you get your energy back on board. How do you get yourself charged up to do something? Some people like to go off by themselves and some people like to be around people. And the more they're around people, the more energy they get has to do with that idea of being an introvert or an extrovert. Recharging batteries is an important part of every day. If your battery doesn't get recharged, you don't get enough rest and restoration. It includes spiritual restoration, bringing your spirit back up. You need that, but you also need taking care of yourself, having fun, and feeling productive. So meaningful activities for somebody with dementia need to be balanced. They still need all four of these. And frankly, as a care partner, so do you. One of our biggest challenges is remembering that people need to feel valued and productive and that there's more to rest and restoration than sleep. And not all leisure should be passive. And taking care of my brain and my body and myself should match my abilities. I'm doing the best I can with that. So what we want to do is create the right support and the right care so they can shine. What we want to do now is show you some examples of these different kinds of activities, sometimes in a group and sometimes alone. But you can see what we're talking about, how you can take someone 
who is experiencing a diamond moment, emerald, amber, ruby, pearl, and as a sapphire, you have choices. You can provide the right support and the right care in these kinds of activities, filling the day, so you get what you need, and so do they. And when that happens, yeah, you're doing it just right. All right, y'all, we're gonna do a cooking group this morning. We need to make some muffins for breakfast in the morning, so. Is blueberry muffins okay? Does anybody need help tearing their bag open? I got that that far, but I can't You got get it that far? Then it didn't quit on you, huh? Well, let's see. Now notice we're blaming the product, not the person. That bag, it's such a problem. There we go, and hand it back. After you get your muffin mix in your bowl, there's a cup of milk right beside your bowl that you can pour in there with your muffin mix. Got it, good job, Lee. Notice how our friend is looking around. What do you do next? And what's nice about a small group... Okay, I'll get that for you. People are doing it, some folks are doing it, so she gets to see what comes next and she does it. All right, Lisa, can you get that cup of milk and pour in your muffin mix? Cue somebody up to get started and guess what? There we go. Other people are doing it too because they see what's going on. Let's go ahead and stir it up and see if we have enough milk in there. We got plenty of milk if we need more. Okay, now one person who's able gets started with the stir and automatic. These are ladies who've made a lot of muffins. I'll stir it up real. Hey, stir it up. Good job. All right, the two fries and they go on milk. Look at that shoulder movement. Look at that action. They have a job. Yeah, you might take your spoon and straighten it back down there with the rest of this. All right, how's yours looking? Cornbread, uh, cornbread, cornbread ain't got no sweet taste. Mm -hmm. I'll stir you that. Good job. Can right. right. you spread yours down around the side of the bowl? Get all your mix mixed in, and then we'll put your cups in there. In a minute. In a minute, we sure will. How's it going, Evelyn? Looking good. Is yours ready, Mark? Lots of reinforcement. There you go, yes. Can you put these paper cups in there for me? All right, well, can you put those paper cups in your Step hands? by step. <laughs> All right. You ready? Scoop your mix right in there. Get in here. Yeah. We may have more mix than we have cups to put it in. If we do, we'll get another pan. There we go. Yep. Sharing a muffin pan, getting them all filled up. We may have too much. Just a little warning, there might be extra. Don't panic. What's your favorite part of cooking, the bacon or the eating? Uh, oh, snacks. Oh, snacks. You like to eat snacks? What's your favorite snack? A muffin. Muffins. I like muffins, too. Evelyn, what's your favorite part of cooking, eating or the cooking itself? Cooking. The cooking is better? I kind of like the eating better myself. So here's a lady who cares more about cooking than eating. If we just have her eat, maybe she won't eat so much, but if we get her to cook and compliment her, she'll eat with us because she cooked for us. Success. If you fill up about six. And William, Is that about right? he's into detail. Yeah, you might have to put a We need to support there, what he cares about. Put, put, put another spoonful in each one of them and then let's see how, how it looks. Because success is in William's eyes. All right, y'all tell me when you're ready and I'll put it in the oven. Is it ready? People are using their hands, using their eyes to accomplish a task. This is terrific. This is wonderful. Ready? And they did something productive, something of value. I'm still me. Mm, that was good. Here you go. Mm. Yum. It's because her hand is coming to her mouth versus you poking her in the mouth with your spoon. And her brain going, whoa, what's that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay. And this yeah. is like, oh, okay, I'm eating. Got it. That's pretty easy once I know what it is. Mm. Here you go. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Oh, my. <laughs> Both of you are going to have a better time. And what I'm doing is supporting under elbow. 
And so that gives her a little added information, and when I do that, she can sit upright a little bit better, too. And I can judge. Is this not amazing? Mm. I get thrilled when I learn something new. That's... Isn't that fun? Yeah. We're going to try the same thing with Miss Frances a minute and see if she's okay with it. See if she likes it. She eats fine right now, but time will come. Is it good, Lucille? Do you like chili? It's pretty tasty. There you go. Ladies, here's the deal. I made a picture and I cut them up, but now I'm not sure if I have all the pieces. <laughs> so I'm wondering if you could put this puzzle together for me and see if I've got everything. And I've got several. And I need a little help. Now what you see me doing here is giving them a reason to do what I'm asking them to do. And see if I've lost a piece or more. I've done something. I might have made a mistake. Can you help me? We're going to spread them out because I wanted to do them later, but I've got to make sure I've got everything I'm supposed to have. Yeah. And what I did here is I took some pictures. I blew them up. I printed them out on cardstock. So try you ever all of them should be and cut them up. The thing is I don't know. Now what's nice about this I, is um, if I lose a piece, guess what? I have all the pieces or if I drop It's not I a big deal. A couple, they're up there if we need them. What did I use pictures of for so this group? You would Flowers. See what you can do. Bright colors, clear shapes. Okay, Let's see how they do with this. Uh, Did you? Are you a jig I love jigsaws. Now There it is. Now look at you. You're great. Look at that. You're good at that. There we go. Look at the hand-eye activity here. Look at how they're trying to figure out how things go together. You've got too many. Let's see here, Martha. Let me, let me try something. Take that piece and try it right there. Now, one of my friends needs a little more help here. It's too many pieces. She can't get started. Now, let's turn that one. There she goes. Look. Keep turning it. Try it right over here. See if you can get it to go right there. Flip it around. Now notice how I tapped on the table and gave her the cue, but I'm not taking the piece from her. She's doing it. Yeah. Perfect. All right, well now we got to, okay now, I think maybe that's in the middle on the bottom. Try and see if it fits like right here or not. So I'm giving her a little hint. Yeah, just straight up, mm-hmm. And see if you can get her to line up. Shift it maybe just, does that feel right? Does that look right? Mm-hmm. Perfect, and, and here I think, Try this, see if that last piece fits it. Oh, hmm. Oh, look at you, that's it. See, it? I had it upside down. Good for ah, you. she's that's smarter than I am. And look at the lady next to her. Look she's already you. got good. that one together. Martha, you had all your pieces. Mm -hmm. Evelyn, that's great. Look at you, you you're good. You must have done crosswords or uh, jigsaws before too. Yeah. Wow, and look at you. Let's see if we can get yours to come together. Okay. Let's see here. See if maybe that one will fit right over, try it right there. Will it slide? Maybe turn it this way. Let's turn it maybe like this and try it. Now notice, this one has okay. diagonals. It's okay, a little good. more challenging. Now, let's see if we can get this one. See if that little point fits right in there. That's perfect. Oh, yes. I think so. What do you think? Yep. Nice. See if that one goes down there, right here. Now notice how I'm handing one piece at a time. Yep. I think you're right. Now we got two at the top. Two Let's at the top. see if you can get those two in lined up here. With a little bit of organizational help right here. and a little bit of structure, look at how well she's doing. That white edge. See and look at how she's right using there. her brain, her mm -hmm. eyes, her hands, this, like her that. thinking. Slide it right down. Mm -hmm. One that goes right here. It's sort of tricky. Why don't you put them all out? That might work easier. Now I'm trying to do two out. things at one time. Let's oh, see how this goes. That's it. Oh, look. They found my missing piece for me. Boy, you got a good eye. Let's see. You got it on the first try. Thank you. Hopefully you're welcome. And you ladies, tell you what, give yourselves a hand. This is, you all got it all in one. Boy, you guys are good. I used to do puzzles. Did you? Mm -hmm. I can I tell. Y'all must have been real good at this when you well, were younger. We didn't have nothing else. We didn't have no crayons or anything. Any of we that stuff. Had, 
You just we had just puzzles. Had, yeah, we had puzzles. Well, boy, I'll tell you, it stayed with you. Mm -hmm.